Thank you, thank you. I'm Mr. Laner, and welcome back to Mr. Laner's Math Extravaganza. Today we're going to be talking about the mean. And no, I'm not talking about whether or not you're mean to your brother or sister. We're talking about mean in terms of math, if you know what I mean. Get it? Okay, maybe that's a bad joke. But let's take a look at what the mean actually means. When looking at mean, it's the most common measure of central tendency. Uh, it is an average, so it describes all the data within a data set. Now you might be asking yourself, well, what's a measure of central tendency? I'm glad you asked. Central tendency is a number that helps describe all the data in a data set. That could be the mean, could be the median, could be the mode. An outlier, which you might see inside a data set, is a value that is much higher or lower uh, than the rest of the data in that data set and it greatly affects the mean. So imagine you're taking a math test and you score 100 percent and on your second test you score a 95 and your third test you score a 95 on your fourth test you score a 90 percent and all of a sudden on the fifth test you score a 30 percent. That's an outlier. The 30 percent is way lower than the rest of your scores and it would definitely affect the mean or the average of those scores together. Let's take a look at an example using student scores. Imagine you took your test and you took these 10 point quizzes and these were the scores that you scored on this 10 point uh, quiz. You have 4, 6, an 8, a 7, an 8, and a 9. So the first thing to do when you look at the mean is you're going to look at the total number of scores that you have. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There were 6 tests that I took and here is the point value of each one of the tests. So I'm going to total up the number of points I've earned. When looking at it, I'm just going to add the scores. So if I added 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9, that would equal 42. 42 stands for the number of points I've earned in the test. Then I count the number of tests I've taken. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I'm going to divide by the total number of sets of data in there. So 42 total points divided by 6 pieces of data would equal 7. Well, again, we need to put what are we talking about? 7 what? Seven points per test is the mean, or the average score that you would get on one of these quizzes. Again, you total up that amount, and then you divide by the total set of data. Again, let's go to our student problem. Grab that pencil, grab that paper, go ahead and pause this video, and find out the total number of goals the Blackhawks scored. Okay. When figuring the mean out here, you should have added the total numbers. Two goals plus three plus four plus one plus five equals 15 goals total. There were five games that they played, so 15 goals divided by five would equal three, which stands for three goals per game, and that was the mean. Hopefully you were able to find it out working through this problem. Thank you for tuning in to Mr. Lander's Math Extravaganza, and as always, we will see you next time, and go Blackhawks.